Alrighty, what do we have beyond this portal? Where'd we come out? Still in the same overall place. You can still see the canary upside down over there. I think that's still them. I think I'm still right side up. Is this gonna be- Oh, Got a prompt to reconstruct the stairs, so we must be in one of those spots now. Nothing stashed up- Ooh! Hey, Veilfire Rune! I wasn't really expecting you to find you around here. Is there a torch? Also, why is the rune on the floor? Maybe- I wonder if I have to bring the torch from somewhere else in the area all the way to over here. We'll see. Oop. Oh. Something's light. Oh, more library. Fast to get out of my way, Inquisitor. Harden Heights Town chapter, huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's more Harden Heights Harden High Town. <laughs> How? <laughs> Donnan wiped spilled ale off the bar, listening to the cries of the birds and the crashing of waves outside. Another slow day on the Amperinthian coast. The tavern didn't get many visitors, just a little too far south of the Antivan border to catch the caravans, but he hadn't opened it to make a profit. He poured a glass of plum brandy from a chipped decanter and carried it out to the patio. Where an impressive Orlesian mustache was keeping company with an old Grey Warden playing a minuet on a lute. Dunnan handed the brandy to the Warden in some, different, in some deference to his mustache, and the gentleman accepted it with grace, placing the glass on the table before finishing the last measure of his song. You have my thanks, Guardsman, the Orlesian said. The illusion set the loot on a nearby chair and allowed the brandy to approach his mustache. The mustache did not appear impressed with the vintage. It's just done in these days, he replied, looking out over the waves. My time in Kirkwall guard is over. I spent many years in and around the City of Chains, the warden sighed. We're both lucky to have escaped her clutches. The sun was setting behind them, drawing long shadows on the ground that stretched toward the sea. Maybe. Donnan shrugged, watching the waves turn dark in the distance. Some days, I'm not sure all of me made it out. To what we've left behind, the Orlesian raised his glasses and toast, and the two men watched the light fade over the ocean in peace. To what we left behind. So that's that's an epilogue. It takes place after every other entry we have of Hardened Hightown. But God damn it, how is there another one? <laughs> At least it's not another cut chapter of Hard in High Town. <laughs> Vir Dathara. Vir Thara. Hard in High Town has to be like meant as a joke at this point. The number of entries they put in this DLC. Like they're just messing with us. The Deepest Fade. The page of this book. Memory? Our instructions on how to reach the deepest parts of the Fade. Realms so far moved their uh, unmarked by dreamers. Epiphany requires a mind smooth as mirror glass. Still as stone, put aside ten years for practice, and the next hundred for searching. What others have learned will ease your journey. Those who never manifested outside of the Fade will find it easier to, fi to find its stillest roots. But it is rare the compulsion overtakes our brethren of the air. There's a lot to figure out there. There's a lot of messages about how the Fade works and people that interact with it. Raising the Sonalium. Sonalium? The pages of this book. Memory? Describe a heated argument between a group of well-dressed elves inside an elaborately arched pavilion on the island floating in a void. In the distance, haloed by a blizzard of light, thousands of elves are maintaining an elaborate magical ritual that pulls raw essence from the Fade, funneling into a sphere in the air. Through the lens of the sphere can be seen a world of indigo waterfalls and rust-red jungles. In a temple palace so frescoed and cleverly carved, it is a masterpiece in itself. The well-dressed elves shouting grows so loud it can be heard over the magic. One leaps to another, leaps at another, howling and pulling a knife, burning it with pr burning with a prismatic flame. Architects of the Grand Sinalium, a gift from Blessed Sinalis to clever June, as thanks for her a great favor, in friendly debate over the color of the palace's roof trim. Oh, uh, so there. <laughs> there's magic and there's architecture, and then they started killing each other over the like the style of the architecture. Now let's check back around back here to see if they stashed something. Since this is how we found sandal that one time. Now that uh, that that one note on the ground looks so distinct, but apparently it's not interactive. 
Yep. Yeah. Is there a reason to want to climb that? If I can? Nope, can't climb that. Probably doesn't lead anywhere anyway, but from the moment I saw the opportunity, I had to pursue it. Hey, creepy great red thing. We'll get to you in a moment. Nope, that's it. Alright. We found every document. We did a lap. These blocks are heading toward that upside down alluvium. Creepy. Helpful, but creepy. It's a place of learning. Maybe this Veer Dathara is helping us find what we need. Now it's even weirder. I mean, it better be headed there. That was our whole goal. Just chill out, bull. You'll be fine. I know you're not used to magic types and all that. And your freaking mage has to pretend she's Dalish. And we're back. Oh. Hello. Is this the portal? Did I go back through the wrong portal and get mixed up? No, this looks like the place I was before. They just... They're just not happy that I'm snooping around, apparently, and they decided to go try to silence the Inquisition, which I don't think is going to end very well for them, as it turns out. Uh, let's go ahead and bubble the party immediately. There we go. I'm ready for you guys. We have a Spearman. Spearman. Spear assassin. Assassin. Assa Ooh, four assassins. That's not good. But also, they're totally going to get away, because it's hard to deal with that many assassins at once. I'll try to freeze one of them. Just to reduce their incoming starting attack, but there's only so much you can do. Alright, Bull. We're gonna go have some fun. Howdy, y'alls. How you guys doing? Hope you don't mind, I'm just gonna try to make a... Ow. Just gonna... Oh, you ruined my charging bull attack. The whole point of that was that I was going to spin like crazy and ruin you guys. Now I gotta, like, eat chunks of you and stuff. Ow, rude. Man, there's a quite a cooldown on that whirlwind. I was hoping to do a crazy AoE that would maybe take everyone out of stealth. It works that way sometimes. Don't knock me down, guys. Please. I'm trying to be a badass here. Oh, you knocked me down. Stop it. I have to eat a chunk of you now. You made me do that. It's all your fault. Okay, I'm running out of hit points here. Let's fix that real quick. There we go. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Who else is around here? Howdy, y'alls. Earthquake. Charging some fools. Vivian, stay alive. You're way more useful when you're alive, as it turns out. Spoilers. Oh, that's some damage coming my way. I'm bubbled though. I'm I'm dishing I'm definitely dishing it back out. I think I got him with that spin. Is that all of them? Or is there a rogue hanging out around here? Nope. It appears to be us and disengaged from combat. Was not a did not appreciate the way you guys ambushed us. We're gonna have to turn the favor sometime. Where do I find a veil fire torch? I know where to take it now. I just don't remember last time I saw one. There might be a bit of an obscure secret to try to drag it all the way over there. That was not a very immediately obvious torch to begin with. I can't conjure a torch out of nowhere, can I? I'm pretty sure I have to find a source probably not even in this network of tunnels. It's, you probably have to take it from a totally different part of the level and take it all the way here and just remember all the portals along the way. Which I'm not always great at, so we'll see what, how that goes. Anyone around here? Alright, so I need to figure out... So here's the part we keep rejoining. Discharging the anchor now deals damage to nearby enemies. That's really not getting better, boss. The pain stopped. The magic here wakes it. Familiar, strong, ripping apart again, all again. I did get more powerful, so that's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, is it listening to Cole the same way again, or something different? Cole? Out of stealth mode. Oh. Can I not use it? Maybe if I maybe I need to get out of stealth first, or maybe it doesn't work. Yeah, well, I used it before. That's probably what's going on there. So was there? And now I need to remember. Was there another path to go on way back there? That's where I just okay. That's the place I just explored over there. No, there's a there's a Fen Harrell statue on top. So do I need to backtrack here or? 
I'm wondering since if the uh, the fact that I did all that might mean, you know, what, let's let's do let's heal up a little bit. There's two supply caches here, and I'm already two thirds of the way done. And there's so I might as well use one of them. There we go. So the one over here was the dead end, right? So I want to see if maybe it's not a dead end now that I did something. If we're lucky, otherwise I might have to backtrack and explore a little bit to find out where I'm going next. Oh wait, what am I? All right, well. I just remembered that, of course, uh... That still did end. Alright. I just remembered, duh, we did the, uh, staircase. So that means that the staircase is where I'm gonna go next, because that must give me access to something new. I was misthinking that. Really, they, they thought I would need two supply caches. Well, I can run all the way back here if I feel like I need one later. But for now, we need to figure out where the new staircase went to. Where am I? Okay. This is a disorienting location to explore. Where is this the path to the hand up here? Yeah, this is the new stair that's the old staircase. That's the new one. Truly really gives me access to something new. Do I have to drop down? That doesn't look very drop down safe. Nope, this does not look like it's useful. I must be missing something then. I'll have to take a look around. Alright, I found my mistake. That's my bad. It's always a bummer when I have to stop a dungeon midway through in an episode, and, and then have to come back next episode, which is the up to the next day. Never, never want to run out of time in a dungeon. I like to record the whole thing in one go. Anyway, that's the last portal we went to. I forgot, I forgot the fact that we hadn't gotten this one yet. My bad. Broken tower. I knew, we, I knew it was new because I came in here and it was like you discovered the broken tower. I'm like, oh, okay. So I believe that's one of the previous areas we just explored. Probably. Recognize the red spot. So we have... Oh! This must be where we find the Veilfire Torch, because those are things that you light with Veilfire. It's probably a specific puzzle, and there's probably a note about it here. More dead Canari, with terrified expressions. Okay, maybe not a note about that. Just something in general. Alright, I'll, st I'll stay downstairs for now. Take a look around what's here. Any surprise journal entries or something to tell me what's freaking everybody out and killing them, or how to solve the Veilifier puzzle? Nope, looks like this whole downstairs area is empty. And up we go. Hey, Alvin Runes, you want to give me any more superpowers? Because I wouldn't mind. I'm, I'm looking forward to do the explosion one on top of being able to light stuff up. It is kind of funny thinking the Inquisition lasted this long. The Inquisitor lasted this long with the Mark, went through the entire Inquisition, took out the whole Veil problem, took out Corypheus, then two years pass by, and then we do this, and suddenly I have multiple new powers for my crazy cave, my, my crazy uh, hand power thing. The Mark, sorry. Hello, Archivist. I wasn't standing close enough, apparently. Welcome, and listen to the last words of those who walked this place. If we get out of here, I will end Fen Haral. After he held back the sky to imprison the gods, the dread wolf disappeared. Lies. We must tear down the veil, the cities, the pathways. Without magic, they're crumbling. You're wasting your time. Fenheral's veil has turned our empire to ruins. So the ancient elven empire collapsed because the veil weakened magic. If the old elves relied on magic even more than the Vince, no wonder things went to crap when it dried up. An empire run on more magic than we have ever seen. Perhaps it's best its little secrets remain lost. I'm glad I brought these characters along. They have a lot to say. It seems really natural to bring Iron Bull on, on a Canari mission. We finally have a Canari mission. And yeah, in a previous mention I was all talking about like, Canari game to Vinter game, and someone pointed out the very obvious solution for that. It could be a Canari to Vinter game, which makes perfect sense because obviously those two factions are in conflict with each other already. So yeah, make a Canari to Vinter game. Don't know which side you'd have to be on. Maybe it's about to, maybe it's about picking a side. I don't know. Floating crap, magic mirror crap, evil demon crap. When this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. Dragons are fun. 
part of me rather ambitiously would be like, what if they did like a Tales from the Borderlands style thing where you make two you make two protagonists, one Canari and one Tevinter. They grow up in those separate societies and they have their own friends and, in, and interactions and they do various things. But then ultimately, they inter they either they either do things that affect each other's stories or maybe even just become one big party after some big thing happens midway through the game. That seems like it'd be pretty cool. But it's pretty hard to do that kind of thing for a uh, for an MMO. I mean, for an RPG in general. Can I, I probably can climb up that. Hope those guys aren't dumb enough to go run in here and kill themselves. Treachery of the wolf. These pages in this book. Memory. Warn of a terrible danger. A wolf with slavering black jaws and pits for eyes. The Avenuris, the Elven Gods, stand in a ring around it, as if preventing it from attacking. Beware the forms of Fen Haral. The Dread Wolf comes in humble guises, a wanderer who knows much of the people and their spirits. He will offer advice that seems fair, but turns slowly to poison. Remember the price of treason and keep in your heart the mercy of your gods. So he was the Fen Haral was seen as a deceiver. Sigil of Lyrium. Excuse, sorry, hang, hang on a second. What does that one mean? Accessory? Nope. Upgrade. Sigil of Lyrium. Plus 50% barrier, but minus 50% health. That's a hell of a cost-benefit analysis right there. That's probably good to give to Vivian, actually. Yeah. Minus health plus barrier for a character that's all about barrier all the time could actually be really powerful. Let's see. I don't think I can put it in anything until I find a, a workstation, though. I don't think I'm allowed to just use it here. Right, let's try climbing up to see what I can find up here. Also might allow me to bypass the other source of fire. What's down there? Is that just another way in? I don't know if I'm doing side area stuff or I'm actually going forward right now. There's Fen Harrell. Hello, statue. Oh. What did I just do? Re requires Velfire. Oh, I need fire. I need to bring a torch all the way up here, apparently. So I found my destination, but not my means for acquiring, uh, achieving it. Let's go back down. I'm gonna check out the other fire path. I oh, that, yeah, there it is. I'll just drop down past it. Careful! Don't go in the. Yep, don't go in the flames. Oh, is this just where I where I already had access to? Am I gonna keep flashing? What is making me flash right now? Is that my shield? When the Dreadwolf's gazes bright, light burns in a ring of the dead. Light burns in a ring of the dead. So when I, I assume when I press that switch to light his eyes, something's gonna happen down here that I can do. But it's a timed thing because he already stopped, so I probably have to d split up my party a little bit. Research notes. These loose pages are scattered about as if abandoned in a great hurry. Algebraic looking formulae crawl across the pages, spiked with dense annotations in Kunlat. This looks like technical notes. What did the Kunari come here to learn? They're real technical. I can't make out any either. Something about magic. That's it. The theorems are familiar. The Kunari are wrestling with abstracted magical theory. Is that all from you? Oh no. Oh no. My mistake. I thought the di I thought I thought it was just one line, line of dialogue from Vasti, so I clicked on the Vivian dialogue to follow it up. But then everyone else started talking, and I think I might have expired the Vivian dialogue without actually starting it properly. Oh no. That's a bummer. Is that glowy bit up there painted on or is that re That's painted on. Okay. I didn't know if the blue part was part of some sort of Stinks glowing rune. Can I climb up this? Also, do I want to? It looks like the same pattern as before, so no. Alright, Vivian, let's go into the basement next. So we haven't checked down there yet. To see what element that comes into play with. It might even be where the fire is. Oh! There's the bridge. That should be enough stairs. Let's see if we can reach the inverted alluvian now. I'd love to, but I want to check out the whole... I'll do it the whole Veilfire thing first, if you don't mind. Because I've been doing nothing but reading all the documents and finding every little secret I can find evidence of. 
Where do I find the fire? Huh. Let's, let's review this note again. It said something important. Let's see. When the Dreadwolf's gaze is bright, light burns in a ring of the dead. Ring of the dead. Ring of the dead. There's a, there's a shadow to Lupian. I bet the ring of the dead is probably... Let's see, is that a ring? I think it's the previous area we saw. How did I get here again? Is it dead? Yeah, this way around. There, we saw a circle of uh, veil of fire torches that were not lit. I wouldn't be surprised if I need to go there quickly. Can I tell them to stay put? I wonder. I wonder if I can tell them to stay on this side of the portal but send Vivian through. Or if they all come with me. Nope, they all come with me. So it's finding where the- that's the Ring of the Dead, right? Probably. Oh! We have some Canary to fight. Might as well do that now. Alright, Vivian. But yeah, I think- I think what I have to do is just- I just have to light that torch and sprint here. Maybe set some, put someone as close to the portal as possible to minimize the time it takes. Hey guys, I want to play my new toy. How do you guys feel about that? Bam! You feel good about that, guys? How about this again? Bam! Feeling good about that? Bam! It's probably not that effective, but it's kind of fun to do. <laughs> I did my AoE taunt to try to do some damage there. Oh, I'm dead. Crap. Alright, Vivian. Uh, damage happened. Lots of assassins. It's problematic for everyone. Iron Bull's back up. Let's go ahead and bury her. All around. Freeze some dudes. Try to keep my distance a bit. Oh, try to keep the party alive. But oh, Iron Bull is down again. Way to go. I'm keeping myself alive at least. Come on, guys. Don't go down too fast. Is that Iron... What is it? Is this saying Iron Bull's... Oh, that's, that's Iron Bull's corpse. I was like, is Iron Bull my enemy? What are you doing? <laughs> It looked like I was highlighting Iron Bull there. Wow, you can really see Cole put a dent in the entire enemy team like that. Oops. I tried to heal Iron Bull. Didn't go so well. Alright, quick heal. Cole keeps showing... Weird, Cole keeps showing up as dead but then not actually dying. Is that because of his set? I don't remember any of the, the pieces specifically doing that. Iron Bull. Just trying to go down so fast this time. Yeah, Cole's down again. Does he have a thing that lets him persist for a while after he dies? Maybe. I should probably go try to get him back up. Ow, everyone's being mean to Vivian. Hello. Freeze some dude. All right, quickly Vivian. I mean, Cole. Oops, I wasn't reviving. Mistakes were made, you know? You know, mistakes were made. Freeze that dude. Bubble the whole party if I can. Or, yeah, I got the ones that take damage. It's fine. Let's try to slow-mo this guy. Ah, I got knocked out of it, didn't he? So is Cole dead dead? Freeze that dude. Oh, oh, damage is happening. Alright. Oh, we pretty much got this though. Where's Cole? There he is. Where'd the bad guy go? Is he running away? Is he done with this fight? What's going on? <laughs> that was a weird moment. Oh, you got you got him all good. That's that was a tough hit. If you could just take a break from killing my whole party, that'd be pretty sweet. Alright, Sevasti, you, you already shield bashed. What can I do against armor? Not a whole lot, maybe. Alright. Let's see, get a little distance. I already did that, that attack, and that attack, and that attack. Uh, rip some health out of him real quick. Then start clawing at him for a while. Oh, he died when I... <laughs> He died while I was thinking about it, apparently. Alright, Vasti. Pop a heal over time for us, won't you? There we go. Alright, so what I'm pretty sure needs to happen is I need to go here as fast as possible. Cole, you heal a little faster, maybe. You know what? There's, there's a potion location nearby, it's fine. So I'm pretty sure I need to come here as fast as possible. Probably need to go light... Fen Harrell while telling a party party member to stay here. Tell my mage to stay here so he so she can grab a torch. And then from there, I, I'll have the uh, torch I need. And I can take that through the portal, hopefully. 
So I'm going to go through here again, and I'm going to try to tell everyone to stay put, if I can. No, stay put. There we go. Please don't follow me, guys. Ah, Iron Bull. That's fine. You do what you want, Iron Bull. Just tell me the other guys are going to stay where I told them to stay. Please. Eh, just dropping down might be fast enough, even if they don't listen to me. Uh, it was this way? Oh, they all came over. God damn it, guys. I wish you guys would do what I tell you to do. Okay, how do I get there again? I think I just go through this. I think I was on top of here. Having a slight memory lapse. Finding, uh, Fen'Harel's statue. Alright, I'm up here. Yeah, this has to be it. So I'm just gonna do it, and I'm just gonna jump down the... I'm just gonna jump off immediately. Wee, Wee. That was a pretty radical jump right there. Alright, the eyes are lit. Vivian. Get down there as fast as possible. There they are. There we go. Just go ahead and let everyone grab a torch. Freaking torches for everyone. Just for the sake of it. Oh, they're all gone now. Alright. Well, Vivian, we got our torches. Can I just light them now? Yeah, I can just light them now. They probably stay that they probably stay lit now, too. So now we have a persistent source. There we go. Well, now that I've established this, I kind of want to go check out the other spot now. Let's do that. I'll do the Fen Harrell thing right after. They're the librarians. Hello. Okay, we're under attack, as it turns out. Awkward. Okay. So. Um. Everyone attack this guy. Are they all going to drop their... Runes, hopefully. Alright, they all, they were all smart enough to drop them. Turns out I'm under attack. Level, they're elite librarians. There's four of them. They're like, what are they called? I think they're called despair demons or horror demons. They're the type that's, that was kind of rare. And there's a... Oh, they're making little spiders. Alright. So everyone focus on this guy. Let's make a mess. I thought I, I, thought I would just take a short uh, side path and wander on over and deal with the uh, whole situation of the... I thought I, would just, I thought I would just go wander over and deal with the, uh, what I missed. The rune from earlier. There's like a whole thing going on over here. Ow, rude. Very rude. Excuse me. Let's get Iron Bull back up real quick. Okay. This works better when you're alive. Oh, he's dead already. Well, that didn't work out. Try to just take my time back here. Don't get, don't try not to get too much attention. There we go. Self-barriered. Now I can do this. Get off of me. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Ow. Oh god. They might be mad at me. They might be mad at me. Wait, how did... How did... How did Iron Bull get back up? I might be... I might be missing what exactly is reviving people. Revival. There we go. Iron Bull, make it count. Try doing what I can with these guys. Okay, I think I need Iron Bull right over here as fast as possible. Yep, he's down. Alright. Well, we tried. Vasti, can you get him back up? Just a quick revival on Iron Bull, maybe? That totally worked. Alright, sweet. Iron, Iron Bull. Let's just pop a potion or two. Because Vivian could use some backup in melee range. Hey, guys. There we go. Uh oh. Well, I wasn't really I wasn't really anticipating that one happening. Son of a bitch. That's a lot of melee targets to charge through for armor. There we go. That's exactly what happened. Let's put some holes in this guy. There we go. And nom some of those uh, health points back. There we go. I got this. And back to spinning. 
You spin me right round. Oh god, that knockback is severe. Guys, come back over here. I'm not done with you. <laughs> oh, you ruined it. You, you interrupted my attack. That was my thing. Alright, Vivian. Please revive Cole. Sweet. Let's put, an a Let's put that circle down for AoE. Make a good old mess out of everything. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good. There's a lot of bad guys around here. They're not happy with me, as it turns out. I don't know why. I'm so charming. If y'all could just take a break for a minute. Oh, oh, it happens every time. They ruin all of my attempts at, uh... Did I just... Was that my charge? That didn't go anywhere. Oh, well. Earthquake, motherfucker. Don't you never forget. Come on, just take some chunks out of him. Hey, we got we got this at this point. Everything's going just fine and dandy. Just don't question. Now stop saying magic words. You make me think something bad's gonna happen. There we go. We got it. Well, that was nasty. We get to grab our torches again, though. Vivian. There you go. All right, so we got attacked by librarians. What of it? <laughs> Let's get back in here and find out what that rune does. Here we go, we're back in the lower archives where I found that rune earlier this episode. Behind you. What is it? Oh! Some more nasties! Oh! Another fear demon. Don't wanna- don't wanna break it- I don't know how to break it to you, but we just got a lot more of the- Oh, that's a lot of spiders is what that is. Okay. That's not great news for me. Vivian, this might be a nice time to use Resurgence. We might need it. Motherfucking Resurgence, brah! Y'all's about to get wrecked? Alright. Hey, Inquisitor. Let's have some fun. Explosions! No, do the explosion attack. Okay, bad things are happening. Alright. Oh god, what is happening right now? Okay, Iron Bull. Oh, you, don't, you can't do your thing right now? Okay, uh, that's awkward. Just start doing AoE attacks. It'll kill something. That would have been a great time to use Whirlwind. But I missed the chance. Looks like there are a lot of them are dead though. And our party is most, mostly sticking in there. So it's working out in the end. Now let's just put some holes in this despair demon. Wow, that was a lot of spiders. Hope we don't got arachnophobia because the fucking floor was crawling in for a moment there. Here we go. There we go, the blender has initiated, and has been interrupted. Oh, he's alive. Let's fix that. <laughs> Done. What do we get for that? Sup oh, superb amulet of barrier. The wearer of this amulet receives a large amount of barrier when hit. A large amount of barrier when hit. Now that's interesting. My go-to would be Vivian. Obviously, because she's a barrier monger. But it'd be- it might also- let's see, what's her current thing? Cooldown amulet? Yeah. Nope. Warrior rogue only, so it is specifically not- okay, so yeah, let's put it on, uh, Vasti. What does he got? Stamina? Stamina's nice, but... You want to make him even more of a tank. He, all that- he's getting all that guard all the time. He's getting all that- and he has all that health and all that defense, and now he's gonna have barrier on a regular basis. That might be pretty good. Actually, it might also be good on a, on a bull. No, he gets second win for killing, and he yeah, he's more likely to kill than Vasti is, so that makes sense. Because he does a lot of da uh, damage per hit. That'll be good for keep making super tank uh, Vasti. Actually... I'm thinking it might actually keep... It actually might be good for keeping Cole alive. What is he wearing right now? He's wearing the oh he has the set I don't want to do that I don't want to take away the set yeah let's let, let's let, let Vasti become more of a ridiculous tank than ever before on top of all the progress we've made otherwise is that the the rune I mean that that's the uh, poison spatter glands so this so this was all in service of finding another cool spot to get another uh, another item all right. Take a quick scan, that's all they dropped it looks like. Alright, I'll just head back then. Alright, now it's just time to go through here again. Can I use this with- the, can I go invincible without- Without dropping it? I dropped it. Oh, I also- I also cast the wrong thing. Ah. 
Too much for invincibility, huh? Ow, 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 ow. Alright, cool, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ow. Take care of that real quick. Chug like they've never chugged before, Vasti. It's fine. We'll get more potions elsewhere anyway. Alright. Ooh, what have I done? Anything bad? Is that, is that loot in that chest, I assume? Rhyme. 150 DPS sword, 162 cold damage, bonus cold resistance, willpower, cold enchanted, all weapon attacks deal cold damage, on the hit, chance to deal cold damage in an area around the target, warrior only. Interesting, so I got like a super, super cold weapon basically, no real reason to press that just now. Alright, I just found two secret items using Veilfire. So, so I, I can imagine someone being frustrated that this is going so slowly through this DLC, but I am very psyched to find all these little secrets. It's actually a one-handed weapon for once, too, so it's actually usable for my build. But I do like my chance of walking fortress. Is there any real reason to trade over? All weapon attacks deal cold damage. Chance to deal cold damage in area around the target. Uh... Having cold AoE could be pretty badass. What's it look like? Does it show up on my back? Is it showing up on my hip? On my hip? How big is it? Let's find out. Is that my sword? It's a it's an ice lightsaber. Okay. Well, you know what? We're not having that that tough of a time, and I'm having I'm having fun dressing up all my characters with all these random pieces of cool equipment that we're finding. So. I think I'm just gonna use it on that, for that vir virtue alone. Let's see. I think we're done... ...with these things, so I'm gonna make my characters drop them. I don't even know where Cole is. <laughs> Alright guys, so... Thanks for watching like always, I'll see you guys next time, where we're finally going to confront the Vitasala, at least according to our objective, unless they pull the rug out from under us, but... Here we did it. We finished building the uh, bridge this episode, found a few secrets, and, and, and generally found just cool toys to play with. They definitely seem to have thrown all balance out the window when they made this DLC, because they're like, ah, if we if it's if we make it set take place after the original campaign, and they can't go back to the rest of the game, and all that's left is just to do this DLC and then it ends, uh, we can basically just make whatever the fuck want, we want happen, and it's not that big of a deal. So that we're, now we have all these fun weapons all of a sudden. We can screw around with them. Let's see, a lot of potions, so let's grab that cash. And next episode, we'll, we'll actually ascend that staircase towards the creepy hand statue. I think it's over there. Yeah. We'll go on that hand statue, and we'll confront Vidasala and all of their, uh... Of their Canari brethren, maybe get down to the bottom of this entire invasion once and for all. Also, Cole, you were supposed to drop that. Are you done with? Are you done? Are you done holding the torch now? There you go. All right. I'll see you guys next time.